Hey guys, this is Names with Names Repairs. The W202C180 has a very dangerous secret. So in this video, I will unmask the danger that this car has been hiding. Lately, the battery has been draining and the car won't idle as it should. The engine consistently shakes and misfires. That led to one suspicion, wiring. And yes, this car has the biodegradable wiring harness, which is in absolutely in no condition to keep this great piece of engineering in its normal form of operation. The one nuclear bomb that is ticking outside my drive. So anyway, in this video, I took it upon myself to investigate these findings that you're seeing now. So let's dive right into the beginning. At this point, I'm removing the injector cables. This problem was obvious straight out of the gate. Some wires were exposed. The guy that sold me this car told me that the head gasket was done just about a year ago. I am surprised that this fault was not addressed during that time because anyone would have noticed the damage on this wiring harness. Three 10 mil bolts holding the wiring harness plastic housing together. Two in the front of the intake and one in the back. A long extension will make things simple. However, a short wrench or a spanner should also do the job without too much of a hassle.
This is a big disgrace, Mercedes. I don't know why this type of wiring was chosen. I'm sure there is an explanation. But what does it matter now? The only thing I must do now is finding a replacement. Or if I can't get anything affordable, I will just have to have faith and convince myself I will repair this harness with better cable. In the meantime, my advice is, if your W202 of the same time and era has some of the heating issues, idling issues, engine shaking, battery draining constantly, then I suggest you get up and start investigating these issues before it goes worse just as mine is. Because looking at the wiring gone dead is very frustrating. Old cars, they always have issues, man. So at this stage, it's safe to say I am going to stop here and then figure out what I need to do with those electrical cables. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace and I'm out.